What is unretirement? Hey everyone, Marty here with another episode of Reawaken Your Competitive Spirit. And I want to tell you a story. Yesterday I was talking with a friend of mine and we were talking about how I'm sort of like your your average Joe. I'm not some high-powered businessman or business person and I don't really want to come across that way. And it it's one of those things where this, this is what I stand for. I've been talking about unretirement for a long time now, and I, I want to elaborate on what that means uh, here pretty quickly. So one thing that I would like to say about this is that if you're stuck in a spot in your life right now where you're just feeling flat, you're feeling defeated, you're feeling like you, you're you're stuck in a situation and, and all of a sudden you've traded your your athletic career whenever you were on fire and you had purpose and drive for some existence where you you hardly recognize where you are right now that's why I'm here that's what what we're here to fix so with that I wanted to give you three tips today about how to make your unretirement successful and and actually create a game plan that's going to work for you for where you are right now. So uh, with that, I am pulling something up here because hey, I have notes. So um, secret number one, sorry, I'm a little slow today. All right, secret number one, how to thrive at your ideal weight even if you feel trapped by low energy levels. So. First stop along the way, uh, whenever I was a 100-pound overweight band director and science teacher, was I knew that if I was going to change anything, I needed to get control of my energy levels because I felt trapped, uh, stuck in a body that I didn't recognize anymore. It was the actual physical manifestation of the toll that this new mediocre life had had put on me. And so... Along the way, I learned a few things I was going to share with you. It's not about sacrificing your mental health. It's not about sacrificing who you truly are as a person. And it's not about shortchanging yourself on your physical fitness and and giving that age-old lame excuse of, I have other things to take care of. I don't have time to work out. I don't have time to eat healthy. I don't have time for me. That's a bunch of BS. It's not about starving yourself either uh, because... I went through that phase. I was like, I'll just starve it out and work out a lot. And it's not really about getting after it in the gym either. Because, I mean, let's let's face it. uh, You go in, you start playing the game at the wrong level, several levels above where you actually are. That can come back to bite you in the ass. So, really what you're looking for here is a game plan that fits you for where you are in your life right now. Secret number two... is how to lead, influence, and empower your loved ones to optimize health without pushing them away with good intentions. So I I think about a quote that Joe Rogan says. He says, be the hero of your own movie. It's like, imagine that you wake up, you realize that, that your life's a wreck, you feel like a loser, but you just start getting after it. And today's the day where you just go into this get shit done mode and 80s montage style it and it all starts with the belief the belief that you are healthy or that you can be healthy again and in order to lead your family to it whether it be your spouse or your children or someone else you care about in your family you can't just tell them you have to be the change first you have to lead yourself to optimize health before but there's also uh a cool way of influencing them and and effectively communicating with stories and no better story than your own success story to influence and empower your loved ones to make the change for themselves. And secret number three, bulletproof methods to find a team that can help you win the game of life after sports and have fun getting back into shape from anywhere, including the home office, no gym membership required. So I, I, I get it. You're, you're busy. You're not lazy. If you're anything like me, you have a thousand things going on at any given time. Um, you could choose to, to put your time anywhere. 
But the fact of the matter is, the environment that most of us surround ourselves with in this day and age is literally killing you. The constant sitting down, the constant hunched over looking at a computer screen, the constant uh, demands of other people sending texts and messages, and it, it has a way of making you feel like you're drowning. And so one of the quickest, shortest hacks to making a huge change is by simply changing your environment and making it more conducive to to you and your health. And it can really change, and it is affected not only by what's around you in the physical inanimate object sense, but also who is around you, your, the team you surround yourself with. So here are the big takeaways for life after sports that I want to talk about here. You need a game plan strategy that's going to work for you. You need the story that's going to carry you through and actually control your inner warrior. And you need to change your state by changing your environment. And the point here is that you can lose weight and keep it off forever without having to starve or go on fad diets. So if you're somebody who's serious about wanting to supercharge this process, I am doing a web class or have done a web class. I'll do a web class again this week, but there's one up right now that you can go and, and watch right now. And it takes a deep dive into all this. I go in and I explain it much more than I can on this video right here. So if you're interested in unleashing your inner warrior and creating the life that you want and creating the game plan that's going to work for you for life after sports without settling for a life of mediocrity or constantly dropping the ball whenever the lights are on you in the clutch moment, you're going to want to check this out. So see you guys next time.